Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to introduce you to another concept. Let's see if I can make this a little smaller here. It's called mesh analysis. And so the idea here is similar to node analysis. Node analysis, you focused on the nodes. And for each node, you wrote down Kirchhoff's current law. And by handling each of the nodes, you incorporated Kirchhoff's voltage law. Here, we're going to do the opposite of the dual, I guess. Well, look at each mesh. We'll write down Kirchhoff's voltage law for each mesh, but we're going to write it down in such a way that it automatically satisfies Kirchhoff's current law. So let's let's take a look at how that works. So um, yeah. Okay. So the first mesh is this. Uh, it's really a loop that goes around the way the arrow shows there through the 11 volt supply the 4.3 ohm resistor, the 5.6 ohm resistor. Now we're also going to have mesh 2, which is the 5.6, the 2.0, and the 9.1. And technically, mesh 3 is the 9.1 and the current source. Um, but because there's a current source in mesh 3, it turns out we don't even have to write that one down. But let's march ahead with this one. Let's write out the Kirchhoff's voltage law for this mesh. That's that the sum of the voltage drops around the loop are zero. So let me, let's go through this a step at a time. First, we're going to go into the uh, fixed voltage supply. That's uh, negative 11 volts. It's a negative because we go into the negative terminal. Then we're going to go through the 4.3 ohm uh, resistor in the direction of the current. So that means we're going to go in through the plus. And then we're going to go through the 5.6 ohm. Uh, what I want to point out is that Instead of just I1, we've got I1 going clockwise, but we've got I2 going counterclockwise. So the direction we're moving around the loop, I2 is moving against us, and so it's going to come in with the minus sign. And then we're back where we started. So the sum of the voltage drops around that loop, there's the DC supply, there's the 4.3 ohm times its current, there's the 5.6 ohm times I1 minus I2. Okay. So let's look at uh, let's look at I2. I2 is going in the same clockwise direction, but uh, notice that in the 5.6 ohm resistor, that's in the opposite direction of I1. Okay. Again, it's the sum of the voltage drops is zero, and we're going to write that all out. Here we're going to get 5.6 ohms again, but this time instead of I1 minus I2, it's I2 minus I1 because we're going in the I2 direction, and I1 on the other side of the 5.6 is going the opposite way, so it gets a negative sign. Then we're going to get 2 ohms times I2, and then we're going to get 9.1 ohms times I2 minus I3. Again, I3 is going to be the mesh current in the third loop, and it is going in the opposite direction of I2. So, But we also know that the third loop has a current source. It's got to be negative 1.8 amps, and so we can just put that in. So we replace I3 with negative 1.8, and we get I2 plus 1.8 in that last term. So let's go ahead and solve these guys. Um, we've got the equation from mesh 1, we've got the equation from mesh 2, and we're going to start doing some algebra. So the first thing is we'll pull everything out and get all the I1s and I2s together. Then if you notice the top equation, we can solve that for I1 reduce it to decimals, and then replace I1 in the second equation with that expression. Now we have an equation that only has I2 as an unknown. We can solve for I2, then plug that back into the first equation, and then we get a result for I1. Now the currents, one thing I want to point out is that I1 is the current flowing in the 4.3 ohm resistor. I2 is the current flowing I2 is the current flowing in this 2.0 ohm resistor, this guy right here. I1 is the current flowing in this guy. The current in the 5.6 ohm, it's got I1 going down and I2 going up, so it's really I1 minus I2. So that's why I calculate down here, I'm calculating I1 minus I2. And then in the 9.1, it's got I2 minus I3, and so that works out to be um, 1.05 amps. So we the current in the four different resistors, the 4.3 is 0.69 amps, the 5.6 is 1.43 amps, the 2.0 is 
is negative 0.75 amps, that means the current in the 2.0 is actually flowing from N1 to N2. Um, and that's consistent with what we found for the voltages of N1 and N2. Remember, N2 was higher voltage than N1. That means the current is really flowing in the negative direction. So that's why I2 turned out to be negative. And, uh, and then in the 9.1, of course, we've got uh, 1.05 amps. So there you have that. Let's scrunch this guy up a little bit. I want to go ahead and just point out, if you wanted to solve these equations on the computer, you could do that in the good old-fashioned way. Let's see. So I've imported SymPy here. I'm going to say I1, I2, I3, I4. Actually, let's just do I1 and I2 are symbols. And then uh, let's get to a little bit. And then let's write down the two functions f1. It's going to be uh, 1.11. Hang on, I want to go back to equations. These guys, okay. So it's negative 11 plus 4.3 times I1 plus 5.6 times I1 minus I2. That's it. F2 is 5.6 times, and this time it's I2 minus I1 plus 2I2 plus 9.1 I2 plus 1.8. Okay. Now what did I do wrong here? Um, Ah, left that a star right there. Okay. So uh, then let's solve. We're going to solve F1 and F2 for the variables I1 and I2. Boom. That's it. And notice it's the same result. We got 0.69, negative 0.75. So, and then of course you can do the math on the other two. But that's basically it. Anyway. That's the idea of mesh analysis. In mesh analysis, you're writing down Kirchhoff's voltage law for each mesh, and then you're uh, enforcing Kirchhoff's current law. Notice by, by calling the current in this branch I1 and the current in this branch I2, and then labeling this current as I1 minus I2, we automatically satisfy Kirchhoff's current law at node one. So you're, you're not having to write down Kirchhoff's current law explicitly as a separate equation because the way you formulated the mesh analysis itself is automatically satisfying that guy. All right. Very good. We'll see you guys next time.